Hi you guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be giving myself a chemical peel. Um, I love chemical peels. They are one of the main reasons I was able to treat my acne. They helped me so, so, so much in um, taking down all the bumps I used to be all over my face and I'll put some pictures um, so that you guys can see that. Chemical peels are never something that you should do unless you are a professional. Dermatologists and estheticians, only people you can go to to get a chemical peel done. Do not try and do this at home. You will get tons of scarring and pigmentation and you will ruin your face because you don't know what you're doing. So don't do a DIY chemical peel. If you want to see my thoughts on this go watch the instagram highlight on my instagram page called diy chemical peel and i react to a, a girl doing her own chemical peel it's terrible don't try and do it but in this video i'm going to walk you guys through what to expect how to prepare your skin for a chemical peel and i'm going to film myself each day after my chemical peel so you can see how my skin is doing what the peeling looks like um, how long it takes, the results, everything. I'm gonna walk you guys through it all. So I hope you like this video before we get started. I would love it so much if you guys subscribed, gave me a thumbs up, commented what kind of videos you guys would like to see, and also follow me on my Instagram for more pictures and education and information and a bunch more fun stuff. So um, let's get started. One of the most important parts of a chemical peel is preparing your skin beforehand. So how to do this is by using um, good products. Um, so I recommend Glymed Plus. That's the line of skincare I use and also chemical peels that I use. You can only get it through a licensed esthetician and you can only get the peels if you are a licensed esthetician. Um, their products have active ingredients in them. They're gonna help prepare your skin for a higher acid um, and they are going to give you results even before your peel. I love Glymed because they're a results driven line. Um, and so your, my, your, <laughs> like I talked about in my last video, your home care and the treatment room go hand in hand. You need them both. So you need to be on a good home care routine before getting a chemical peel. Um, also, you can't start with a super high level of peel for your first time or it's going to ruin your skin. So you have to build up. You gotta start with a light peel and they can slowly build up to more and more aggressive peels. I have had lots and lots of peels and so I can really do any peel at this point. The one I'm doing today is not super, super aggressive. I just want to help with the small amount of acne that I have. Um, don't want to go too overboard, but this peel will give me some nice peeling. To start, I'm going to wash my face with the Mega Purifying Cleanser, and your esthetician will do this for you. You don't need to come with your face washed already. She will double cleanse you and get your skin prepared the day of your peel, but it is up to you to get on a good routine before coming in for your peel um, or you're not going to be able to get a good peel you might not be able to get a peel at all so if you are one of my clients or you want to come to me for a peel message me let's get you on a good home care routine before we do any type of peel so i actually just double cleansed i used the mega purifying first then i went in with the gentle facial wash um, and that one has 10% 10, 10 glycolic acid in it. I use that one every night, which is the perfect way to prepare for a peel because it has a high percentage of an active ingredient in it. I forgot to talk about one of the most important ways to prepare for a chemical peel. Staying out of the sun is so, so important. You can not get a chemical peel if you have recently been in the sun or had a sunburn, but you have to be using a sunscreen every single day leading up to it, even if you aren't gonna be basking in the sun and every single day after the peel because your skin is gonna be much more sensitive to the sun. 
so I have been breaking out, which is one of the main reasons that I want to do a peel. It's been a little while since I've done a peel on myself, so it feels like it is time. Um, you can see my skin. It's fairly clear. I just, I tend to get some acne around my jawline, which a lot of time is hormonal. And I have some around my mouth. And everything up around here is usually a sign that it's hormonal acne. Um, but I am just breaking out like on my forehead. I have some texture and chemical peels helped me so, so much with my texture and my acne. So that's why I'm choosing to do a peel. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with my pre-treat. I'm doing a lactic pre-treat and the pre-treat just helps to determine how your skin is reacting to the acid. Um, it gauges your sensitivity and it makes sure all of your skin is completely clean and ready for the peel. Okay, now I'm just going to let that soak in for a couple of minutes and then we will start the peel. And I'm gonna be going in with Five Berry Pigment Control Peel from Glymed. This is one of my absolute favorite peels. It's not only good for pigment, but also acne and aging. And again, you can only get this if you are a professional. Do not try and get this. You might find something really scary on Amazon or something and then your face will be gone. And I'm adding the CBD booster into my peel. I love Glymed CBD booster. This is just going to help boost the peel's results. It's going to help with healing, redness. Um, it's anti-inflammatory. So I love putting that in my peels. The chemical peels can get pretty hot. So I'm just fanning myself, helping the burn go down a little bit. Okay, for layer number two. Each layer gets hotter and hotter. Okay, and this is my fourth layer. I definitely will not start out with four layers, but my skin has been built up so it can handle it. But it is hot. I'm gonna be looking good for Christmas. Okay, I finished all four layers of my peel and then I let it all cool down. Um, and now that I'm not hot anymore, I'm going to put on my finishing products. So as you can see, I'm nice and pink. My skin feels tight. I'm going to put on my finishing products. I'm gonna be using the Living Cell Clarifier. You can see that this is a serum and I'm going to mix it with the Fulvic Elixir Serum. This one is anti-inflammatory, antifungal, antibacterial. It's hydrating. It's good for acne. It's like my holy grail serum. And then this one is perfect for brightening the skin and for that post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or the red acne scarring that you get. This one is also perfect post-chemical peel or post-treatment. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the Daily Repair Mega Moisture Cream from Glymed. This one's healing and repairing. It's super moisturizing, perfect post-peel. Then I just have a little travel size of the Amino Acid Epidermal Sealant. Um, this one is also just gonna help repair my skin and bring a lot of moisture to my skin. Probably got way too much there. Okay, and that is it for right now. If it were daytime outside, I would definitely be slathering on the sunscreen, but it is nighttime. So I'm just going to go to bed with my skin like this. Um, 
So for the next few days, what my post-procedure uh, protocol is going to be is staying out of the sun, slathering on the sunscreen and reapplying throughout the day, keeping my skin super moisturized and not letting it get dry or dry out because you're already going to feel dry and tight from the peel. Um, and that is going to help you slough off the dead skin quicker and healthier if you have it moisturized. Um, I'm going to stay out of anything super warm like a hot bath, hot tubs, a hot shower, sticking my head in an oven, that type of thing. Also, I'm not going to exercise for 24 to 48 hours because you don't want to reheat up the peel. Um, I will keep you guys updated every day on how my skin's doing and how it's feeling and how it's peeling. And so I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Hi guys. Okay, I just wanted to do a quick check-in. It is the first day after my peel and I'm feeling just a little bit tight. Like I said, this isn't a super aggressive peel. So I've definitely had peels where I feel a lot tighter to the point where I like can barely open my mouth to eat. Um, I'm feeling a little bit of tightness, nothing too crazy. Um, but I feel, I'm also feeling just a little bit dry. So I am just going to be packing on the moisturizer today and the sunscreen um, and being very gentle with my skin. Um, post peel for about a week or to 10 days, you're not gonna use any scrubs or anything like that. So I'm just being very gentle, but I always feel like the day after a peel your skin is just like oh beautiful like you haven't started peeling yet but you look glowy and nice and i just love the day after a peel if you're not too too tight so this is just a quick little update from day one hi guys okay i really don't need to say that every time it is day two after my peel i literally just rolled out of bed because um, I wanted to give you guys more of my post-chemical peel home care routine. Um, I didn't give you much information yesterday. I didn't have a lot of time, but today I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm putting on my skin post-peel to keep my skin hydrated and healthy while it's peeling. So I just woke up. I haven't done anything to my face yet, but I'm going to get in the shower. So... First, I'm just going to apply my vitamin C cleanser to my face um, and then I'll let it sit on my skin a little bit and I'll wash it off in the shower. Um, but I just want to show you, I'm starting to peel a little bit around my mouth right here. Um, I, yeah, I feel tight, just mainly around here. Um, I can feel my skin kind of being like pulled when I move my face, but nothing too bad. But yeah, I just started to peel a little bit so i want to show you guys that before i do um all of my products because my skin's probably going to continue to peel as i do all of that and it's going to continue to peel throughout the day but the main thing is to keep your skin super hydrated throughout the day and to be gentle with your face and sunscreen i'm just going to apply my vitamin c cleanser my top broke off just going to pop that back on there this one is a very creamy cleanser there we go. and I'm not gonna add any water to it I'm just going to apply it dry to my skin vitamin C is a very powerful antioxidant so it's going to help neutralize the free radicals or the toxins in the air the toxins in the air damage our skin cells and age us quite a bit so vitamin C is an amazing antioxidant and everyone needs antioxidants in their home care routine and this is usually my morning cleanser I love it because it makes me feel hydrated and glowy and makes your skin just feel nice and bright throughout the day and it just gives you a nice glow I really love this one so I am just going to leave this on dry I'm going to hop in the shower and then once I'm out I will show you guys the rest of my routine okay you guys I am <laughs> fresh out of the shower I had to get dressed usually I do all of this the second I get out of the shower but it's been it's been like 10 minutes and I feel like I can't even move my face because it's so dry so let's get some moisture on there 
Okay, so I did spray a little bit of the skin recovery mist on my face right when I got out. I'm just gonna spray a little bit more. And this has hyaluronic acid in it, so it's gonna help hydrate my skin. And I'm going to carry this with me throughout the day um, just to reapply throughout the day and keep my skin hydrated. And this is actually just the travel size. The retail size is quite a bit bigger. So these are nice to <clears throat> order and then just have you have with you throughout the day. And then I just applied my lip balm from Glymed because I'm feeling so dry. Can you guys see? I like, I can't even like open my mouth. It feels like when I open my mouth, I can like feel all this skin like pulling down under my eyes. And when I go like this, it's like pulling my skin down by my mouth. So let's hydrate my skin. Enough of this. Okay. So I'm going to go in with like my all time favorite serum, the Skin Restoring Fulvic Elixir. And I'm actually going to mix it with my vitamin C serum. So both of these are hydrating. Um, this one also has tons of antioxidants in it, just like the vitamin C does. So I have that one and I'm just gonna mix the vitamin C in with it. And the best way to layer serums <clears throat> is from thinnest to thickest. You layer your serums first from watery, then your gel-like consistencies like the hyaluronic acid, and then the um, and then your moisturizers, oils, and then your SPF. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Ultra Hydra Gel, which is 10% hyaluronic acid. And this is more of a gel-like consistency, so I'm going to put it on after my serums and before my moisturizers. It just looks like that. And this just helps bind water to the skin and keep your skin very hydrated. And you just want to be super gentle. You don't want to rub your skin really hard and force it to peel. You want to let all the peeling happen on its own when it is ready. Next, I'm going to go in with the Daily Repair Mega Moisture Cream. This is my favorite morning moisturizer that I use. It's healing and repairing and it's so, so hydrating, but it's very lightweight smells really good it doesn't break you out so I love this one I like to mix my moisturizer with my beauty oil I am obsessed with this oil I am very very acneic I can break out very easily and this does not break me out at all but it's just so hydrating and I, it doesn't make me feel greasy it makes me feel glowy and <clears throat> you guys I really just woke up okay <coughs> It, it just makes me feel really glowy and hydrated without feeling greasy or like I have too much on my skin. Okay, usually I'd be feeling <clears throat> very hydrated at this point, but like I can still just feel all the products just soaking up my skin and I feel like I'm gonna get dried out really fast so usually I don't do this but after a peel or if I'm feeling really dry I'll go in with this it's from Elta MD and it's like straight Vaseline but thinner but all that's in it is petroleum and paraffin so this isn't gonna this doesn't necessarily have ingredients that are gonna go in and heal my skin or anything like that but it's gonna be an occlusive layer that just holds all these products right into my skin it's just gonna be a super thick layer and it's gonna make my face look real greasy but that is okay did I just rub butter all over my face maybe so I'm going to let this kind of soak into my skin for a little bit and then I'm going to put my sunscreen on so the moisturizer that has soaked into my skin a little bit it's still this skin is still very very greasy feeling but that's okay so i'm going to put on the photo age spf 
Um, it's Glymed's Facial Sunscreen. They have a couple, but this one is my absolute favorite facial sunscreen that I have ever tried. I am obsessed with it. I use it every single morning as everyone should be, um, but it does not break me out. It makes me feel glowy and hydrated and it's lightweight so it doesn't feel thick or like super creamy on my face. It's actually more of a gel-like consistency, um, but it feels hydrating and it smells so good, you guys. It smells like a tropical dream or something, but I'm just going to take a little bit and it's cute and pink. Does it get better? I don't know. Everyone should be using this sunscreen. So, I'm just going to apply this everywhere and when you are... And when you've had a peel, your skin is much more sensitive to the sun, so you need to be reapplying your sunscreen more often. So take it with you or you can... Glymed has a loose powder that's a sunscreen, so that's a good way to reapply throughout the day is just through the loose powder. Just catching on to my dead skin right there. Okay. I'm looking nice and oiled up. Pretty much this routine is my everyday morning routine, except this. So I'm only using this because I just got a peel. Um, but other than that, this is pretty much what I use every single morning. I am just going to stay like this throughout the day. I'm gonna take this with me and reapply throughout the day and also my sunscreen. So I will check back in with you guys tomorrow or maybe later if I start to peel any more. Okay, it is the end of day two and I just wanted to give a quick update because I have started peeling a lot more than I was this morning. So let me just see all around my mouth. This is pretty much all gone. I'm peeling on both sides now, so I'm gonna go get ready for bed and probably peel a little bit more and then I'll update you guys tomorrow. It is the very end of day three. I'm about to wash my face and go to bed, um, but I just wanted to update you. I'm still peeling just around my mouth mainly and I'm starting to peel up into my eyebrows, but yeah, it's mainly just still around my mouth. So I will just continue to keep my skin hydrated and putting my sunscreen on and I will update you guys tomorrow. Hi you guys. Okay, it's day five. I just didn't ever have time to update you guys yesterday, but it's pretty much all the same. I'm still peeling. I'm pretty much done around my mouth and I'm peeling more like up on my forehead. I'll see if you can see. Like you can just see my skin is nice and flaky. I did put makeup on today. I don't feel very dry, just flaky. So it's nothing too bad. Um, keep in mind this is a very superficial peel and one of um, the first peels that I do on someone. So it's more of a beginner peel, but I will be doing an advanced chemical peel and showing you guys the whole process of what a more aggressive peel looks like. Okay, so it has been one week since my peel. Um, I didn't update you guys yesterday because I was just peeling the same. There's nothing really new, but I'm pretty much done. There's still some like in my hairline that needs to come out. But other than that, I'm pretty much done. And I'm out of town for Christmas, so that's what this is all about. But my skin is looking pretty clear. Um, I have a little bit of makeup on right now, but like at the beginning of the week I had some breakouts around my mouth and those are pretty much gone. I don't really have any active breakouts going on right now so um, that's the main reason I did this peel just to kind of smooth everything out and I feel like it did that perfectly but I'm going to be doing a more aggressive peel probably in a couple of weeks to get rid of all this texture and just be a little bit more aggressive. Um, so I love this peel as just like a little pick me up and it's also one of the first peels that I do on my clients if they're, um, if they've been using a good home care routine beforehand. So this is just something that you can expect from one of your first time peels and then you can go up in aggressiveness, 
um, with each peel. So this is what to mainly expect from your guys' first peel. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, just comment down below. Be sure to give this um, video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you want to see more videos like this, and please subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!